What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Yes, we are on a new project. Hope you enjoyed the fortress, but now it's time to move on. In this one, we are doing the ultimate decorators challenge. We're using all the voyage colors in just one deck. It's only about 340 square feet. Can we squeeze all six colors into this? Pat, can we? There you go. I like the uh, vote of confidence there. We're gonna try our best here. We've got a kick-ass design, check it out. So make sure you hit subscribe, stay tuned. All right, so you can see we have our helical piles installed already. We got some of our beams laying in here and now we're just trying to set these. We have a 20 foot beam here. Our deck surface is gonna be 20 feet. So we actually have an inch overhang for our decking on both sides plus an inch of trim on both sides. So our beam and our framing is actually gonna be 236 inches. We just left these full length so that we can square up our joists once we get them on and then we can cut off the excess. So all we're trying to do with this is get this really close to parallel with the end of the house. And then we know that we're in a good spot and we can square it up later when we put the joists in and cut off the excess of the beams. So this is a really good way to do this. Pat, get over here so you can see this. So we're holding the string line against the house down there. My dad actually built this addition about 25 years ago. So if this is out of square, that's his fault, not mine. But anyway, pick a wall of the house run a string line pretty far down it, and then you're just gonna move it till right there, I'm just touching that corner. Our first beam's already lined up. Scooter's gotta hit this one over probably about six inches. You're good, that's good. So since these beams are full 20 feet, they're about 240 inches, usually they're at least a half inch more than that, and we need to cut these down to 236. So we have two inches of play on each side. We're really close to where we need to be, so we know we're gonna have some wiggle room here. This is good to go. Now we can start laying in our joists after we set this beam. All right, and what can I jump on to help you? Probably get some joists out ready for it. Okay. Do you want me to order them according to height, or do you want to just lay them in here or we'll plane them later since it's small? Uh, we'll plane them later, it's small. Okay, all right. I'll get on that. <laughs> Just wanna check these for crown before we install them. There's gonna be a slight wane. Either way, up or down, you always want that crown facing up. Don't put them on here now. And it's not ready for them quite yet. As you can see from that time lapse, we built this whole deck away from the wall here because this is a freestanding deck. And that means we have a beam that's right next to the house and we're gonna cantilever towards it. We have a block foundation here, so it's not really a good spot to anchor your ledger board to. This is a lot easier, especially for a low deck. It makes it very easy. If it's higher off the ground, you're gonna need some cross bracing and stuff like that to keep it nice and rigid. Now we're gonna push it into place. Have a couple people on hand for that. Luckily, we got some big strong boys here. Not him, but we have some waiting in the wings. But So we're gonna push this into place and then we'll secure it with hurricane ties just like you would on a typical deck, but it's totally independent from the house. The other nice thing, zero chance of water infiltration into your house. You don't have to worry about being, you know, super precise about your flashing because you're not even touching the house. So that's another benefit. Let's get this going. One, two, three, there we go. Oh. Are you the whole thing? <laughs> That's why you want to make sure you have some nice, big, strong people for this. 
Because you could get hurt. Did you do that just for the footage? Because this no, show, that was an A-plus move. I actually fell. Fell on my arm. Not hurt. It's the nature of the game, baby. We gotta go that way now, though. Moss? Yep. Gotta go. This, this end's gotta go that way. Five eight. Okay. Just five eight. That's about all you got. Now we check it again. We got this thing square as, you know, uh, as a nicely built deck. We've got pretty much this whole thing framed out. All the basics at least. You can see we have some posts here for a bar that's going to go in. We actually just passed our framing inspection as well. So now we get to the crazy part. Check out the design again. So we need to put blocking in for all of that crazy stuff going on. And we're gonna work off of this line first. So all I did, I pulled my measurements off the design that we did. That's the nice thing about using a software, you can get exact measurements for it. So here is my point on this deck where this line ends. So I basically just plumbed this two by four up, screwed that in, tied a string line around it so that we could get nice and level over there. So here's where we're starting at. And then I'm gonna pull off of that because we're gonna do two flat two by 10. So it's almost 20 inches wide, the full inlay. So I'm gonna make this mark here and then we're gonna pull 10 inches off on both sides. And that's gonna be our inlay. So what we did because we're cutting through so many of these is the plan is actually called for two by eights. I did two by tens because we're gonna be notching almost all of these. But then what we're left with is still more than a two by eight, so we'll be good. But now it's gonna get pretty crazy. Crazy. Let's go, I'm excited. I'm starting to mark out this inlay cut. And the tough thing that we're working with is this drop in elevation. So we ran this string line. That's why I plumbed this up so I can get that nice straight line there, make a mark and then pull a level down, put another string at the bottom. And then I sight that up and it looks laser straight. So. Obviously you want to check it with a level to get your marks, but I always like to step back and take a look at it because something like this can be a little bit confusing and uh, you can make little adjustments. So we're ready to go now. What I made these marks based on is the center of our inlay. And our inlay is gonna be five boards wide. It's insane. We have a five and a half Kaya, two strips of about two inch dark slate, and then two Sierras, three and a half. So it's pretty big. We're gonna do two two by tens flat with a one inch gap in between. So what I'm gonna do is take my framing square. I need this to be pretty money, so that's why I'm using a framing square so I can know that I'm going perpendicular to that string line. Here's my mark. 10 inches on this side. Ten inches on that side, so now I already did that on the other side of this, so we have marks on both sides. We can snap a line and that's where we're gonna cut. This is just our reference for the center. We're gonna have to set those up again when we go to lay the decking, but this has about a half inch of play in it so we can get those two two by tens in there. Lots of flashing tape coming up, lots of cutting, so stay tuned.
Hey, how's it going everybody? Yeah, it's me again, that, you know, deck and deck guy that, you know, fills the decks. Anyway, check out what we got going on. We're making some good progress on this. Let me show you this side. We already got this done. Freaking beautiful. You can see how nice it worked out. Notching these, everything's nice and flat. Now we just have a ton of flashing tape to go over top of this. And the biggest thing you wanna make sure of is anywhere that there seams, like right here, there needs to be a lot of blocking. So you can see, this is kind of ending in the middle of a joist bay here. So we had blocking put in here, blocking put in here, and another piece of blocking put in here so that everything is supported. It ain't going nowhere, it's locked in for justice, baby. So we got a couple more pieces to put in. I'm gonna finish up this bar area and uh, then we'll be ready to rock on some decking. Well, we got this thing all framed out. We're just about ready for our decorators decking to go down. Still have some flashing tape and a little bit of black stain on this bar area. But you're gonna have to wait until the next vlog for that. In the meantime, make sure you hit subscribe. Check out these drone shots. And until next time, this is Premier Outdoor Living.